So, hey guys, welcome to the post surge call with uh, with myself and Kristen. After we uh, just watch Carl speak to Chris Downing, Je uh, Jennifer, oh my God, Bauer, Jennifer Nelson. Bauer, and Nelson, right? And then Michael Neiman came in, and there was one other Kim. person. Oh yeah, Kim Fitzpatrick came on. So we didn't want to make this long because a lot of the information that they went over, we had on our team call on, on Monday night. So if you missed that call, the recording is up, which guys, by the way, um, the recording originally was blocked by YouTube because I played the Daily Sunshine and the Double Time um, workout videos that I recorded at Summit. I put them in the PowerPoint and... They have copyright claims on that beach body. They've never done it before where nobody else can have that video on except them. So my team call got blocked. So I put it up again and just cut out those clips and edit it. It is up in the coach team page. So if you want to go over all the announcements, which is a lot of what this call was about, please go back and watch that. Um, if you were not at Summit especially, so you know everything that's going on, like with the diamond bonus to make $500, um, the, the workouts, Daily Sunshine, all of that. But we have a couple takeaways um, from the Summit Surge call that we want to discuss with you guys. Um, and then, you know, Kristen has some good information. We both have some information. So number one, guys, we want to hit on is Shift Shop is where it's at. And I, and I think it's great timing because I think after this summit, a lot of other coaches feel there's actually a shift um, in the company with belief being created again, people are fired up with the direction of going to the UK, with going to the direction of really making this for families with double time workout, with daily sunshine snack for kids. Um, I know um, just here talking to other star diamonds and some of the other men leaders that they're just all seeing a big shift of belief and excitement within their teams because of so much that's going on um, as well as the direction we're heading. So Shift shop. Um, all of our challenge groups pretty much have started a couple days ago on Monday. So what we decided after hearing Carl. We want to win money. Who wants to win money? I know. Who wants to win money? We decided yeah. that I know that we've used the challenge tracker app before. Um, I'm not here to knock the challenge tracker app. I just know we still continue to use Facebook because it works. But I love that they have the challenge tracker app platform. Like, God forbid, Facebook, poof. You know, it was gone. We have our own platform. That's why it's there. But you have to be logging your workouts and Shakeologies in there and then taking a screenshot of your Shakeologies for the week, um, your seven Shakeologies, and your six workouts for the week, you were right, um, for the week, and posting it on those dates with the hashtag Shift Shop Week 1 after Week 1, Shift Shop Week 2, all of the specific details, and this is going to be on you guys, because Carl got a little caught up with the money and how many people, if you notice, it got confusing. It's going to be under the coach breaking news. They said they're going to put all the information out there. So you're going to want to check in. But basically, you need to be doing shift shop. You need to be taking a screenshot after each week, showing how many Shakeologies and workouts you did. You need seven Shakeologies and six workouts. And then those three Mondays of the group, at the end, they're going to pick $100 winners, and then the last week, $1,000 winners. 20 people will win $1,000. That I know. is pretty darn cool. So, right. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but is this starting for when Carl starts on Monday, or yeah. since we already started on Monday, right. last so, Monday? Carl is doing a network-wide shift shop challenge group that starts on Monday the 24th. There are many teams, including ourselves, that started challenge groups three days ago. So we just, if you want to align yourself to put yourself in for the money, Kristen and I, for anybody in our challenge group, we're going to create a, um, a challenge group on the app, and we have to invite everybody by email, and we'll put a post in our summer shift challenge group to get everybody's email, and we will invite you because you need – um, you'll get an invite via email, and then you need the code once you did. The link is right in email to set it up so you could be in the app so you can get the money. Now, guys, we are not doing this team-wide. Our team is way too big. So what I mean by that is whatever challenge group you're in right now, whoever is the leader or whoever is running that group, reach out to them. If it's you, there's videos in the back office under the video library on how to use the Challenge Tracker app and set it up in the portal. It is easy to do. 
it's on you to go to the video library and then set it up. And even if you're in week two and you start the app next week, just pretend you're in week one. I mean, I just, it's the same thing because they're, you, they're not, you're not logging which specific workouts you're doing. You're still drinking your shakes. You're still getting your workouts in. It doesn't really matter. Actually, um, no. If you pick the program you're doing, it has you choose which workout you did. Shift shot. Right, it just has to see that you're doing shift shot. Right, I guess. That's yeah. it. I don't know if it, I forget if it actually has which shift shot workout you actually are doing. No, it doesn't. Just they say which program. It has to say shift shop that you're doing program that program, and they just want to see that you did set uh, seven shakes and six workouts that week. Right, so Megan's okay. saying if she can set it up, she's techno technologically challenged. Anybody can. <laughs> Guys, go so to your back office. Megan. Go to your video library. If you're a challenge group leader, captain, whatever it is, set it up for your people. Put a post up in your challenge groups. Get their email addresses. Then you invite everybody via email, and you could just use that for a place for people to Just log like their stuff in so that then, then they can go to, this is important, Instagram, and then post the screenshots on there to put in for the winnings of the money and the details of when to post, with the dates, which hashtags will be under breaking news. So check that out. I don't want to misquote because Carl was confusing a little bit with the money. So that's, that's number one. Um, and then go going ahead. into that, so our our internet is really messed up lately, and it dropped right as he was talking about Sagi's new. I think it's a one week program. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, what is it called? Week of hard labor. Is Did that anybody it? get that? Because we lost the call. What was it called? We were like Sagi up. Diane, what was it? Um, it is a week of hard labor, and it's going to be five um, workouts from Sagi starting the Tuesday after Labor Day. Okay. There'll be four 45-minute workouts, and then the 25-minute workout will be a core cardio mix. And he did say um, it's not going to be a beginner workout. Okay. I heard that part. So okay. we're, we're talking September. Yep, the, that Tuesday after Labor Day. All right, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about that because I love Beast. So, yeah, right, so that it's not even finished yet. They're still okay. working. Um, okay. And then, and that leads us to the team cup, guys. So this is the big thing. So yeah, so the the thing is, they're setting us up for success because what they want us to do is they want us to start shift shop now and start sharing the crap out of it. <laughs> Excuse yeah. my language, um, but really documenting your journey every day, doing the shift shop, um, how you're feeling, maybe what food you're eating, what workouts. Be brave. Post videos of you doing the workout. Um, just immerse yourself in shift shop. Talk about it at least once every single day, sharing your journey with it, um, and then start inviting your hearts out for the Team Cup because as soon as August 1st hits, um, it's game on for you and your team. So right now, I know a lot of people are still working on setting up their Team Cup teams. Um, my suggestion is get yourself on a team of five people. Um, you need to have, uh, you can have only two lifetime uh, diamonds or less on the team, right? You can't have... Um, but you can't have one. two star diamonds. Uh, but you can have two diamonds. Uh, Sharice, right? do you know off the top of your head? Yeah, I yeah. unmuted you. Sorry. Oh, thanks. Um, you can have one star diamond and two diamonds, and that's lifetime rank. So you can have technically three lifetime diamonds because one's a star and two more diamonds? Yes, on a team of five. Oh, okay. wow. See, I'm yeah. not even up on that. The last I remember was one diamond. Yeah, they changed it. Right, they changed it. They changed it. All right, so what I want you guys to do is make sure you get yourself on a Team Cup team and get that formed ASAP. Some of you who are in pods together automatically just made your pod a team, which just makes it nice and easy because you're yep. already in a group message together. You're already focused on the everyday tasks that you need to be doing. My suggestion at this point, and, and I think uh, maybe Kim Fitzpatrick said it, is um, set up times where you guys can do maybe a power hour together or even like two or three power half hours during a week. Um, maybe where you go live together um, or even just get on a phone call together, team up, whatever you want to do. But you should be holding each other accountable and you should be doing things together as a team. So that way that will create momentum and keep everybody very focused. You should be setting goals with your team. Um, the minimum goal for everybody should be to hit Success Club 5 in the month of August, and that will earn you all the prize, right? Once you all hit it, then you, uh, the entire team wins a specific prize. I want that bite. And can I just say, guys, <laughs> listen, don't hold anybody to August 1st if you have people there. Empty the chamber. 
Like, if you have rounds in the chamber right now, fire them all and hit Success Club in July. Do not wait. Yeah. Like, get the momentum. I'm right now, I'm at SC4. Guys, I'm at SC4. I'm not stopping. I'm not going to let this be the month at a summit. I'm going to find a way, whatever it takes. And then in August, my goal, and I know Kristen's goal, and I believe she's Sharice's goal, I'm looking to get to get 10 people to get SC20. I don't know where they're yeah, coming from. Broder, 10 people. I don't I don't know where they I don't know, I don't where, know where they're, they're coming, coming from, from, but I'm going for it. And why? Because there's a goal with elite points that you get bonus elite points. Like I'm just being honest. There's bonus elite points by hitting that. So I'm going after it. So the thing with this is guys, if you don't have a cup team, like I saw one of our lifetime star diamonds, Jen Holman post, she needs somebody like on the team page. If you're not on a team cup team right now, if you are not on a team cup team, go to the team perseverance page and jump on one of the coaches that um, posted that they need a team member. And if they're all filled, post on the team perseverance page, you're looking to get on a team and we will figure it out and get you on a team, which then leads to my next thing. Kristen said it the other night on our team call. Like, my new thing is this. We are going to equip you. We're equipping you guys, telling you where the information is, how to form Team Cup teams, you know, the Challenge Tracker app. We're equipping you with everything you need to do. We're setting you up with a, with a very specific plan on a path so you know what you need to do. It is on you to do the work. I think so often that people expect – that others are supposed to help them get to where they want to go and handle their objections, their obstacles in their life, their failures and struggles. We all have it, right? We're here to help you as a team. And the best thing about this business is even though you're in this business for yourself, you're not by yourself. You have the whole team here to support you, ask questions, but you and you alone, this is you versus you in your cubicle under your roof in your house to put in the grind and put in the hustle, push and play every day, drinking your Shakeology, and going out and kicking some ass, right? And guys, those of you that are in pods, most of you have already signed up for the Remind 101 text that I send out every day. Um, I hope I'm not annoying you with them, but it's a good way for me to communicate with you. A lot of people have said they enjoy them because they don't always get to check into Facebook and you get a text on your phone. It's either like a little tip or Can like a little- Can you tell them what it is? Because I think there's people on here. Okay, so the Remind 101 is actually a texting system. It's an app I use. I used it when I was a teacher to text the parents in my class. That's what it's made for. It's made for teachers. But here we are as coaches. We still are teachers. Um, so I had majority of my team originally sign up a long time ago so I can send you text messages. And it's reminders like team call tonight, surge tonight. Um, I've been for pods since we started the pods. I've been putting up tips every day, um, conversation starters for you guys to talk about within your pods having to do with the business. So it's going to be really just like helpful little things. Like I'll be giving, sharing like sample invites and like just little things like that. Um, you know, maybe like two a day or so. So if you want those text reminders, it's a great way to stay connected. It's a great way to just keep you focused on your business. Um, and if you have not gotten them, I'm going to post again the link for it in the team, um, the Coaches of Team Perseverance page. Sign up for Remind 101. If you don't want it and you've already like, um, subscribe and don't want it anymore if I'm annoying you just let me know and I can take you off I don't know if you could take yourself off maybe you can um, but there is a way where I can remove you and I won't be offended if I annoy you I won't <laughs> no but it's just another way I'm even on it and I get the text as reminders like I'm and just you like them. I like them it's an extra text from my wife during the day <laughs> <laughs> so um so team cup shift shop it's all about the shift and I think it's great aligning with where we're heading with the network and the team in United Kingdom your Shakeology, um, the new program with Sagin. I think that's it. Everything else, guys, is on the Team Perseverance team call. Um, are there any general questions about anything? Diane. Um, there was one thing that Carl mentioned, the I'm here to help info. Yeah. It's on Beachbody, I think he said, um, Champions page. Uh well, he had, he had a group. He had a private group that he, he um, invited. It was about 1,000 coaches about 60 days out for Summit, and Carl was actively involved every day with daily to-dos. Mm -hmm. um, that group was called I'm Here to Help. So that's what that is. I missed the thing about the Beachbody Champions on that. I don't know if anybody else caught it or wants to elaborate, but I'm not sure. I thought he said he was going to be posting some of that information. Oh, maybe, maybe he's posting because he had some – he had he, – what he did at Summit 
is he posted the top post in the 60 days in the I'm here to help group that got the most traction and the most engagement and people really liked them. Um, one of them being like five donuts was one of the big ones, which is, you know, donuts like you put on a baseball bat, they're heavy. And he says in the morning, send out five donuts before your coffee, before you brush your teeth to five basically cold invites and just get them out of the way. Five every day, five donuts. So that really blew up. And a lot of people did that. We're having a lot of success. So I think maybe he's talking about he's going to post some of the best posts that got the most traction. Anybody else? General questions? Uh, Joan. Yeah. So um, I'm in the Challenge Tracker app, and I was looking through it. Just so you guys know, there's no way to pick Shift Shop. Like, it said multi when you set it up. I can't – oh, wait. I found it. It's called The Shift Shop when everybody's looking for it. Just <laughs> Yeah. I was just all straight. I'm like sweating because I can't find it. <laughs> I find we find so often we go to ask questions, or I may go to ask a question, and before we know it, we figure it out on our own, right? I know, crazy. But I didn't want. I, you know, I was limited for time here because the call's almost over. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Anybody else? We have a, like two pages of people, so I'm kind of clicking back and forth. If you have a question, just unmute yourself and speak up. But anything, anybody. I just posted the remind link in the Coaches of Team Perseverance. So if you have not signed up for the text reminders, go do it now. Everybody lost. We lost them again. Lost them again. This is ridiculous. We can't live like this. Our whole business is Wi-Fi. How do you know they're not hearing you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's recording, so they are going to hear that. <laughs> And if anyone in here is not on that group, they have amazing training in there on a regular basis now. So it should be a group that you have on your list to check into every single week. Sorry, Sharice, we did, it happened again. You know, it's funny. I, did we, you hear me we, cursing? We, we, we had to renew our contract for Verizon Fios, for those of you that have Verizon Fios. And the part of the way they got us in was, they said they gave us a better router that's twice as fast. And my brother-in-law who's a tech guru was like no dude that's really fast the problem is it drops signal and goes out for two three minutes at a time constantly yeah this is not cool so we just lost it again and i think i was cursing in the recording she's like this is bs da -da 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 -da. like i think some people can hear you <laughs> uh, so um anyway thank you sharice again, again for stepping up and just taking it when we jumped off but did we kind of wrap it up you wrapped up <laughs> Are, are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> all right, guys. So Thank you, guys. Thank you for all of you hopping on after this. Wait, I mean, this is awesome. Hold on. I work for tech, tech support. Yes, Ray, please. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to hit you up. Wait, Maria, right. didn't you have something to say? Weren't you in the middle of saying something? Maria Peterson, right when you guys got kicked out, she was saying something. Say it quick before we lose <laughs> I was just reading in the comments, I guess someone here already posted oh, okay. that um, Team Cup tips were being, uh, Carl was going to start posting Team Cup tips in the Champions page. That's why he wanted everyone to go to that page. Okay, that's what it was. Thanks. Got it. Thank you, Maria. Thanks. All right, guys. So it's 930. Sorry to keep you guys long. I think this was recorded. Hopefully I can post it for the rest of the team tomorrow. Go out there. Be intentional, you know, about your work, like Brendan Bouchard said, and go out there and kick some ass your workouts and your personal development, your Shakeology, and obviously inviting and working the business. So guys, have a great night, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.